What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, fans and social media is going bizarre as they see a photo that surfaced with three-time junior middleweight world champion, former junior middleweight undisputed world champion, now the unified junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Jamel Ironman Charlo. Jamel Ironman Charlo is now 35 wins, two losses, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5'11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm each. As he was taking on the biggest challenge of his career in a massive mega showdown, which was deemed undisputed versus undisputed between himself and four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who is widely considered the face of the sport of boxing and is the undisputed super middleweight world champion in Saul Canelo Alvarez. Saul Canelo Alvarez is now 60 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, five for eight with a 70 inch arm age. As they were fighting, Jamel Charlo's identical twin brother, undefeated two-division world champion, former unified junior middleweight world champion, and now the reigning WBC middleweight world champion, who was undefeated and a superstar in the sport of boxing, in Jamal Lyons only Charlo. Jamal Charlo is 32 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, obviously, slightly taller and bigger, six feet tall with a 74-inch arm reach. Jamal Charlo was ringside, the identical twin brothers, and he was witnessing his brother, Jamel Charlo, lose con very convincingly to Canelo Alvarez, got dropped in the seventh round. Canelo won a unanimous decision. Jamel Charlo was very inactive. But nonetheless, a photo surface of a guy that's a rival right now to Jamel Charlo, and we know Jamel and Jamal have been going through a rough patch in their relationship. And a, surf, a photo surface of Jamal Charlo featuring with undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, now the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion, who is widely considered to be and recognized the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, in Terrence Bud Crawford, superstar boxer, who is 40 wins, no loss, no draw. He is 31 big wins by way of knockout, 36 years of age, 5 for 8 with a 74 inch arm reach. Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo are identical twin brothers, obviously. Again, their relationship has hit a rocky patch. Jamal Charlo surprised Jamel Charlo. He wasn't even going to come, he wasn't even expected to be there, not even expected to come for the biggest fight of Jamel's career. And He's featured with Terrence Crawford in his photo. And Jamel Charlo has been going back and forth heavy with Terrence Crawford. Ever since Terrence Crawford is coming off the biggest win in his career, July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, when he took on defeated former unified three-belt WBA, WBC, IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the True Spence Jr., who is now 28 wins, one loss, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, five for nine and a half with a 72 inch arm each. And they are extremely close friends, Jamel Charlo and Errol Spence. Uh, they share the same trainer and under the same stable banner. And Errol Spence is close with Jamal Charlo, but he's closer with Jamel Charlo as it seems. And Terrence Crawford, in that fight, he dropped Errol Spence in the second round, twice in the seventh round, and Stopped him in the ninth round. But in the seventh round, in between there, Terrence Crawford was calling out Jamel Charlo, who was sitting ringside, and calling him out his name and saying, you're next, and so on and so forth. And they've been going back and forth. And Terrence Crawford been saying, you know, uh, he don't like Jamel Charlo, and he wants to fight and beat Jamel Charlo. And uh, Jamel Charlo is a cheerleader for Errol Spence. And, you know, uh, he wants to fight... Jamel Charlo. And after the fight, 
with Canelo, J- Can- Terrence Crawford, he stated, I'm off of Jamal Ch- Jamel Charlo because Jamel Charlo fought like a cat, uh, not a lion that he claimed to be. Uh, he laid down, he quit, and um, he let Canelo Alvarez spank him like he was his daddy. And <laughs> you see this photo of Jamal Charlo with Terrence Crawford. So Jamal Charlo at the Terrence Crawford Errol Spence fight got into a spat with former IBF super middleweight world champion superstar boxer Caleb Sweethand Plant, to which Caleb Plant slapped Jamal Charlo at the weigh-in. And Jamel Charlo was asked about that situation, to which Jamel Charlo stated, that's Jamal Charlo problem. He's going to have to rectify that. He's going to have to fix that. He's going to have to do something about that. It's not my problem. Uh, so people are it's g- gaining a lot of momentum, a lot of traction, and people are, you know, starting to, you know, speculate, and they're saying it's disrespectful, and Jamal Charlo's wrong, and he shouldn't have a relationship or take pictures with Terrence Crawford because he's poking at his brother, Jamel Charlo. Uh, there's even people now saying that Terrence Crawford and Jamal Charlo with their significant others was double dating, uh, you know, uh, hanging out. And that's not the case. Uh, this is simply the cameras caught Jamal Charlo sitting not too far from Terrence Crawford. And they took a picture together. It's not like Terrence Crawford and Jamal Charlo are uh, engaging. I'm sure they probably shook hands and greeted greeted one another, but it's not like they. we didn't see photos of them sitting down, breaking bread and kicking it and uh, uh, just chilling and shooting the breeze. That's not what we saw. We saw a photo that um, professionals are taking. They could care less about feuds. Uh, they saw two fighters with their significant others ringside at a mega fight and he took a picture right uh and in the picture you can clearly see that you know the significant others are in between um Terrence Crawford and Jamal Charlo you know uh and it just is what it is you understand what I'm saying uh so as you can see here on the, on the photo right there you know they're taking a photo they're in the same row now Maybe Terrence Crawford's wife and Jamal Charlo's wife are uh, more, you know, um, friendly than Terrence Crawford and Jamal Charlo. But you got to factor in that Terrence Crawford stated that he never had an issue with Jamal Charlo to begin with. He was cool with Jamal and Jamal Charlo up until the whole buildup started to really gain a lot of traction and momentum between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford stated that Jamal Charlo who he was a fan of and vice versa, and they were extremely cool. He said that he felt Jamel Charlo switched up his energy once uh, everybody started talking about Jamel Charlo fighting, I mean, excuse me, Canelo Alvarez, excuse me, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford facing off against each other and how close he is to Errol Spence. And Terrence Crawford stated that he never had an issue with, he understands that Jamel Charlo's loyalty lies with Errol Spence. He stated that, it was the way he described, you know, uh, and watered down Terrence Crawford's accomplishments. He stated that Terrence Crawford felt that, you know, Jamel Charlo was saying he'd never done anything in his career. Who did he beat? Errol Spence going to knock him out. He said that's when he felt like he was being slighted. He said he don't have a problem with him picking Errol Spence because he knows that's his, his like his brother, his close friend, and that's where his loyalty lies. But he just had an issue with how he described how Errol Spence was going to dominate him and dog walk him and he never did nothing and, you know, um, minimize what he has accomplished in his career. So he stated that what better way to uh, uh, cement my legacy than fighting Jamel Charlo, becoming an undisputed three division champion and uh, fighting Errol Spence as well. So that's where the, 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 the rivalry started to stem from. So I don't believe Jamal Charlo and Terrence Crawford has any issues. Uh, as Terrence Crawford stated, they were cool to begin with. So I think this is being blown out of uh, uh, out of um, content. I think is that it's just being you know uh, overstated, and it's a way to you know to gain headlines, point blank and period. So uh, is it disrespectful? I don't believe so. They were sitting there, you know, uh, like Jamel said, he don't inherit it. Uh, Jamal's problems and Jamal I gather feels like he don't inherit it 
Jamel's problems, period. But is it disrespectful? No, they took a picture. That's it. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.